This is Jared from Commit Quality. And in today's video, I'm going to take you through how you can manually interact with scrolling in Cypress. This video is going to show you how you can um, interact with the scroll bar and navigate down the page as you would like using two different options. Uh, I am also going to create a scrollable element video as well. However, I haven't updated my website yet for this, so that'll be coming in a future video. But let's jump into it. What I want to do is I want to go to commitquality.com, which you just saw in the code is already happening, and I want to scroll down the page based on if scrolling is available. This should be fairly straightforward and it should be a nice quick win for us to go over. So what I'm going to do is we're already going to commitquality.com. Actually going to do a side dot pause here because this is how we're going to be able to see that it works all okay. So I'll say side dot pause, and uh, then we're going to say side dot scroll to, and what this will do is it'll scroll down given a certain amount of parameters. So uh, the first one is whether you want to scroll across. So we'll just set that to zero, and then the bottom one, the second one is scrolling up or down the page. So in this case, I'm going to say scroll down, and we'll say just just fifty. So something small, but something that's going to be noticeable for us. Like I said, what this one is doing is scroll to fifty pixels from the top. So. This is the X and this is the Y. So we should see when I start uh, using this, um, it's gonna scroll down a little bit for us. What I'm gonna also do then is I'm gonna put a side up pause again in here, just to see that this works as expected for now. So let me clear this and I'm gonna say MPX, Cypress, run, and we'll say in headed mode. Um, and what we should see is Cypress open and we'll be able to hit the breakpoint on this side up pause. So that's brought over here. And because um, it's in a smaller window, we should be able to see a scroll bar. Okay, great. So we've paused here at the moment. You can see we're on commitquality.com. We've got the scroll bar. When I click continue now, what we should see is this scroll bar moves down by 50 pixels. So it's not going to be a huge amount, but it's going to be uh, good enough for what we want. So let's continue, and there we are. You can see it jumped down a little bit, worked perfect as expected. So let's continue out to this. So that's the first way of manually interacting things. If you know, right, I wanna go to 50 pixels down the page, I can do that. But what if then we say, okay, I wanna scroll to a given element. Well, we can do that as well. Let's, after the pause, let's say side.get, and let's actually find an element on our web page. So let's go here and uh, tell you what, we'll use the show more button because that didn't appear when we were in a smaller viewport. So uh, we've got a data test ID here. So let's take that. Let's go back to Cypress and we'll say uh, get by data test ID. And what we can do now is use another method called scroll into view. And what this is going to do is it's going to scroll to the show more button and that should be perfect. So let's pause that. Let's rerun. Oh, we don't want to do Cypress open. MPX Cypress run in headed mode. So remember now, we still have our code. It's going to scroll down 50, but that hopefully will not bring the show more button. So let's just double check. There we are. It's not interview. So what we should see now is there'll be a bit more scrolling that's going to wait until that show more button is brought into view for us. So let's click resume. And there we are. We can see a scroll down to show more working perfectly as expected. So let's uh, continue that, close that down. Fantastic, that all worked as we wanted. Let me just clear this terminal. One thing I did want to touch on, there are some options you can pass through. With these arguments, you could do different things. So, so you've got duration, which will give you like, it'll slow down the scrolling. You've got things like easing with the scroll animations. You can output some logs. You've got the offset, which can be really handy as well. So it's amount to scroll after the element has been scrolled into view as well. In our case, that doesn't work because I was is going to the bottom anyway. And of course you've got timeout, but I just want to show you how you can kind of use these and tell what we'll pick on the top one of duration as a as a perfect candidate. So what I can go do here into scroll into view, I can add the arguments and I could say duration and let's say 10,000 milliseconds, which is going to be 10 seconds of scrolling. So what we should see is when we run this now, we should see that the scroll will slowly scroll down the page over the duration of that 10 seconds that we've added. 
Okay, so that's the first one where it jumps down a bit. Now on the second one, we should see it slowly start to scroll down. So let's hit continue. And here we are. You can see it's slowly going down and you've taken that duration of 10 seconds into account until it gets to the button for us. And fantastic, all working as expected. Can okay, continue out to that and you can see it's passed. Awesome. So that's how you can kind of scroll and manually interact with the scroll bar on your web page. Like I said, I will have a scrollable element video um, as well as soon as I've updated the commitquality.com page. As always, if you have any questions, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks. So if you are finding my tutorials helpful, if you'd like to help contribute to uh, my channel, you can of course add a super thanks as well. As always, have a great day. Thank you for watching.